I need one person who wants to come up and volunteer. Wow, I have a lot of volunteers. Volunteer to be a plant. How about, what is your name? Gabriel. Gabriel, come up here. This is your patch of dirt here. I want you just to stand right there and you're gonna be a plant and you're gonna grow. Okay, so Gabriel's sitting here. You feel pretty good being a plant there? He's a nice, happy plant. When plants grow and they're happy, they want to make more plants, they produce seeds. So I need someone to be a seed and come back up. What is your name? Victoria. Victoria, Victoria, you come stand right next to Gabriel there. And now you guys, you're feeling pretty good? Pretty happy? Okay, plants grow, they feel good, they're happy, they make seeds. We need two more people. All right, what is your name? Haley. Haley, come on up, and what is your name? Grayson. Grayson, Haley, oh, no, you have to stand on the mat. Yeah, it's hard, are you guys still feeling pretty good? You are? No. Yes. You, you are? All right. Can we get four people now to come up? Who wants to come and stand on the mat with them? What, what's the matter? You're shaking your head. We're too crowded. You're too crowded? Let's see if we can get four people up there. What is your name? Lorna. Lorna, see if you can come join them on the mat. What is your name? Corey. Corey, come see if you can join them on the mat. What's your name? Elijah. Elijah, see if you can jump. <laughs> Isn't that oh, everybody's gonna be standing on that mat. Okay, are you guys feeling pretty good now? Yeah. 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 Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, not everybody's fitting on the mat. Yeah. What happened? It's too full. You've run out of space. And that's the same problem. That's the same problem. <laughs> yeah, you barely have space. You guys can't fit. Oh, I can sit down. Oh, you could walk away and sit down, couldn't you? Can a plant just walk away and go someplace else if it gets crowded? Yeah. No. That would be weird. Yeah. That would be really weird. It would be really weird. So plants have to move away before they start growing. Because once they start growing, somebody said something. Plants have what? Roots. 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 Plants have roots. And the roots keep them what? Stable. Stable, and it helps them grow, but it keeps them from moving away. So when the plants are a seed, they have to have a way to move away. And there's different ways that plants do that, but we, we have a word for when plants move away from each other as seeds. I'm going to write it down. It's called? Germination. Well, that's when a plant grows, but when it moves away from each other, it's called? Disperse. Can everybody say that? Disperse. And what does disperse mean? <coughs> Move away. Move away. So if I tell you guys to disperse, what would you do? You'd all move away from each other, right? Are they hitchhikers or riders or poppers or whatever, looking at the pictures? Then also, Ms. McCormick, did we say we are going to do that on the tile back there? <laughs> on the tile back there, we're going to have one group what I want you to do when you go to this group is I want you to think of a seed that you've seen in real life. And we're going to try to make a model of it or recreate the seed and think about how the seed moves. Okay? Because you're going to need to put that in your model. Now, do I want you to build a whole big plant? No. No. We don't need to make a big tree, right? We just want the seed. Now, if you're thinking of a seed that's inside of something else, can, can you do that? Like if you have a seed inside an apple, yeah. is that okay? Yes. But you probably need to, to make sure you included the seed in there. Okay, but we don't need to make a whole big plant because we're not going to have time. We're going to have 10 minutes. We just need to make the seed with the way it travels. Then at your desks, we're also going to have you imagine if you were a seed, what kind of seed would you want to be? How would you like to travel? And you're going to draw a picture of it and then tell about it. And then the final thing we're going to do, and did we decide where we we're going to be doing that? But if I do that right where you are. Okay, we'll do that up here. I have what looks like just some sand, but it has seeds inside. We're going to put socks. It says on your foot, but I don't really want you putting it on your foot. We're going to put it on our hands and try to pick up seeds with the socks to see if they yeah. stick. And then draw pictures of them and see what it is, if you can figure out what made the seeds stick to your hands. Okay, so everybody know what they're doing? Can you put some seeds in your hand and let me see what you're finding? 
Excellent. How many different kinds have you found? I found a weird one. I, I found one. I've only gold. found two different kinds. I found a weird oh, one. No. I found that a looks weird. I found a gold one. It's like gold. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Okay, I'm going all the Hayden, could you take it back over to your desk? Walk, please. Let me see what you're drawing. <laughs> it's a great looking seat, though. You make me a sunflower. I love to eat them just like my mom. If it's going to be a fire or a popper or a kitchen. Am I supposed to make a seed? Make a seed. Maya, when I talked to her, she wanted us to glue your seed to the bottom of that paper. So make a seed and then glue it to the bottom of the paper. And think about how it travels as you make your model. All right, so there you see they got flowers, and then the flower petals drop berries, drop, and the berries start to grow where the flowers used to be. And then what happens? What's going to happen once they get those berries? It says the birds need the berries. All you need is a little piece of cotton and a yellow bead. And I made four of them. Okay, excellent seeds. Thank you, sir. Hey, Max, so they both fly on the tray, and she yeah, took my and how it works. So, they're carrying seeds. You're right. Very good. Well. It's, it's called caramel. Oh, All right. Let's see. This one's a little bit trickier. This is from a tree. This is a lime tree. Oh, Lime trees. And so you have these. Again, they have the flowers, but then these big limes grow. And then what happens? Now, they fall off, and how do you how do you get to the seeds though when they fall? Well, there, well, there's these. Well, animals will the animals might eat this seed. Look at this picture here. If the animal doesn't eat them, what happens? It rots. It rots. Or what? Look at the picture. What happens? It splits off. And the seed falls out. Do you think when they first fall on the ground, though, you could have been like, you know, I like your idea. Describe it to me. Can you read it to me? My seed moves by the beans. And the butterfly comes Thank you. And then what happens? What is it? How's it going to travel? And what will it do when you throw it up? It will make seeds. How's it going to? Yeah, there's what I was hoping to hear. It would fly. I made a helicopter seed. I like it. I like it very much. Okay. You guys are after a model of a seed. How's it going to travel? Does what? Is this seed going to really grow? No, it's not. But we are pretending if you could create your own seed, what does it need to be able to travel? 
That is the writing paper. The writing activity. If I were a seed, draw a picture of what kind of seed you'd like to be. Okay, guys, tell me what you're finding up here. A bunch of seeds. I found a bunch of seeds in one. How did you find them, guys? I put a stalk in and you pull it out. And you put a bunch of sand and you pull it out. It's like right hand, left hand. What they're doing is they're scooping it up. Okay. Are any of the seeds sticking to your saw? Yes. Yes. Watch. Oh, and I found, I found I the largest piece of gold I can find. <laughs> you think there's gold in here? I think she just put seeds in our container. There is a little bit of sand in there. What is this? Are all these all seeds? Part of it's just sand. Gabriel, I'd like you to keep as much of it on the tray as possible, okay? I'm just doing Put it on pile. Now look at your sock, Kylie, and see what kind of seeds are sticking to it. If you can pick a few off that are hitchhiking to your sock.